Hello. <laughs> And why we should never give up on our dreams. No. But our voice is waiting, it's only nice to me, making sure that we're paying attention. I just want to just tell you a bit, a bit about my story. I've, I, I started uh, when I was young, I probably started around 10 when I was uh, started at Arsenal. I grew up uh, in the local area. I was at Arsenal till I was about 21, I'd say. And then I get, I get let go. I get let go and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with myself. I'm thinking I'm gonna to go to another club, hopefully find somewhere else. Probably like any other kid my age, when I was younger, I just wanted to be a footballer. I wanted to play football. I didn't think of anything else. Didn't have a clue what else I was gonna do. And then when you get to 21, you get let go. You think, I have, what, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do now? I've got to find something and I couldn't get another club for love or money. I couldn't find a club. I, uh, I was training, I was doing my best I could and then I had to go to non-league football and I'm sure some of you have never even heard of non-league football. I went to a team called Harrow Borough which I'm sure you've never even heard of and just to play some games and then thankfully I went from Harrow Borough, it got me to Wimbledon, it got me to uh, to back into the football league, it got me playing games, and then from from Wimbledon, I ended up at Luton, and uh, I've been at Luton for this is my sixth season at Luton now, so it's it's been a great journey. It's one I wouldn't change, but I had to work hard. I had to work really hard. I've had a lot of ups and downs in my career so far. I uh, but being let go was the hardest thing, and hardest time of my life. I. Uh, I just had a little girl as well at the time, so I had to support her. So it's, it's not the end of the world. There's always something, something else. All, it's not the all end and be all. If you let go, it just gives you another opportunity to go somewhere else, it does. It's, uh, I'm not gonna lie, being let go was probably the best thing that ever happened to me, because I got to come to Luton. I'm, I'm not so right now where I'm injured, but I've played in the championship. I've had promotions. Uh, I've been a part of a great team for, the, for many years now and being let go is, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. So at the time it don't feel great, but in hindsight it was the best thing that's, that's ever, ever happened to me. It's given me a career, it's given me a chance to provide for my family, to look after my girls and I enjoy it. I come to work every single day, I love it. Uh, it's just. It's just a great time to be at Luton at the minute and just hope, hopefully I can have some more, some more good times down the, down the road, really. But you're going to have knockbacks in life. It's just part and parcel of everything. It's, uh, it, it will make you stronger. Unless it will make you stronger if you want it enough. You need that little bit of luck as well. You need that little bit of luck to go your way, which I, I did have, I did get, but I worked hard. It's, you just got to be patient, like I said, work hard and your time will come, really. Uh, it, it was a great, it was, coming to Luton, I come to Luton in, in League Two and we had a real good team for, for, for League Two. And since I've been there, we've just uh, back to, we got back to back promotions, stayed in the championship. It's been a great journey, I must admit. And uh, I wouldn't change it for the world. I would not change it for the world, I wouldn't. I think you need to give a massive round of applause.